Test, test, guys, can you hear me? All I see is loading video. Test, test, guys, can you hear me? Oh, let's get rid of that. So, hey, Casey, hey, Slayer, and hey, Carmadillo. I'm not beginning just yet, but I wanted to get everything set up. Give people a chance to get their emails and get their butts in here. Oh, I gotta put a video up on YouTube, too. Let me get myself some iced tea. Ah, Jesus, why do I do these things to myself? We live streaming, motherfucker! By the way, guys, I have texted uh, Tanya to remind her. I don't know if she's going to be here or not. <laughs> Bloody hell. Doing all right, Casey. Doing all right. What do you mean, what did I do to myself? Oh, yeah. Just get out. I put the iced tea jug back in the fridge with like a little tiny bit left, so. You'd like it if I was in the room with you, Slayer. You white. All right. Let me, uh, I got to put together a quick video announcement for uh, YouTube. I don't know if Julie's going to be here. I'm actually going to shoot her. Tell me a message to let her know I'm streaming. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, your mother. Oh, allergies. Ooh, hello. Okay, let me let, 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 let her tell me now. If, if Julie wants to come in and flirt with Hitomi, then I will definitely appreciate that. Tiny and Carissa's dog's name is Silas. Alright, let me uh, get my recorder up. And I don't know why I'm sneezing so much. I, my allergies are just killing, killing me today. Killing me. Not literally, but... know what to say in those things. Hey, Maddox Scarecrow. All right, let me let me play that back. Hey, everybody. We're... Oh God, I sound like shit. Why? My volume is way too loud. Let me. Uh, where's the mixing board? I had some issues with this thing yesterday. Oh my God, it's maxed out. Let me lower that a bit. Jesus Christ, it's still too loud. The fuck is going on with that shit? We lower it more. Alright, let's try this again. No, you can't. I don't. I, I. I'm done with you recommending films to me. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. It's too loud right now. Let me walk over to the mixer and see what the problem is. It's on stereo. All right, I'm gonna lower it to about half the volume that it was at before. All right, how does it sound now, guys? Let me know. Does, does it sound less distorted? Bring Gold Wave back up. Hey, Wayne. Let's try this again. Test, test, test. Okay, that sounds good. That's where it's supposed to be. Hey, WW Enemy fans, I saw you followed me on Twitch earlier. Welcome to the stream. We're, we're, we're not started yet, but, you know. All right, let me just record this real quick. All 
Okay, alright, let me save that. I'm gonna call it asses.mp3. Asses. It has been too long, Ponergy. And, uh, once I get started, I'll explain exactly why it has been so very, very long since the last live stream. But I want to give more people a chance to get in here. Uh, alright, let me just do this real quick. Yeah, Casey was telling me. I don't know about intellectual, but he did tell me. Alright, it was asses. Alright. Should have made a different image for this, but whatever. Save movie asses. Alright, there we go. Dude, I, I want to hear your theory, Casey, about why people need to urinate 20 minutes after sex, because there's actually a physiological reason for that. You don't really need to theorize on it. Yeah, I can't wait to do for the sex episode either. We were supposed to record it yesterday, but Tanya's internet was out. All right, uploading the asses video. that just just put it up please okay too many windows open too many windows open there we go asses and shit you white okay you're, you're asking me if I want to hear Mel Brooks's Jewish pirate impression I'm about to start live streaming here I don't know why you're doing this to me And for the record, the reason you gotta pee after having sex is because when you get a boner, there is like a, a, a flap, actually, that prevents you from being able to pee easily. I mean, you could force piss out when you have a boner. Uh, I'm sure if you've woken up in the middle of the night with uh, morning wood and you had to pee, you probably experienced that yourself. But it's harder, uh, not the wiener, but it's harder to pee because there's like this internal flap that prevents your uh, urine from being able to come out easily that way it doesn't contaminate the possibility of like urine getting in sperm and uh, when after you 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 come you normally would uh you know go uh so uh all of a sudden that flap gets relaxed and you feel the urge to pee even if you don't have a lot of urine in there and actually um casey it, it's it's not that there's extra bacteria, but uh, you are correct in saying that you gotta like kind of flush your system because there could be like some extra sperm still in your urethra. Why are we talking about this? All right, let's uh oh text message. Let's see, Tanya. Oh, Tanya has company over. She's gonna try to be here. All right. I'd love to see a spaceball sequel. But uh. Oh, by the way, guys, I might be getting interrupted. I did order a pizza, which will be coming sometime soon, I hope, because I am hungry. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Let's let's get this show started, huh? We're playing Chronicles of Dark Lord. I'm not playing the Steam version, because I didn't carry out my save from the... this. It's the same exact thing, but uh, the game is on Steam now. Meow, 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 meow. They should actually call it that. Spaceballs 2, the search for more money. I would love this. I would love that. Tell the pizza guy. I don't want to freak him out. He needs to give me the... Oh, God. Now somebody's calling me? Who's this? I don't even know this number. Hold on. Hello? Oh, hey, yeah. Okay, thank you. I look forward to seeing you and my pizza very soon. <laughs> Alright, thanks. 
That was actually the pizza guy letting you know that he's leaving the restaurant now. It's about five minutes away, but let's start. Alright. Crunch wraps, are those still a thing? Oh no, wait. Oh yeah, those are still a thing. Those are good. Uh, I was thinking of, um, what was that thing at McDonald's had that was like a wrap? What? Snack wrap. Are those a thing? Alright, I believe this is my save here, because I wasn't level 99. Okay, alright, so here I am. We are coming back to the Kazarath. Get out of my way, skeleton. So I'm gonna shovel that up. I know I'm gonna get into a battle here. Oh shit! I'm gonna lower the volume on my speakers a little bit. Oh, a lot. There we go. Alright, let's do this. Oh my god, I, I'm in bad shape right now. I didn't realize that I had uh, saved it without healing. And these, these, these guys don't fuck around. Yeah, this is not good. This is not- look, I'm getting killed here by bats and slimes. Alright. No, run away. Oh, no! Alright, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die here. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm dying. Alright, alright. Let's, let's try that again. I will save at the crystal before moving anywhere. Sirendar's gonna do this thing where he ignores the stream and just talks about whatever. I'm going to do the thing where I ignore Slayer because he's going to be talking about random bullshit. Dead as shit is right. Now, now it's not going to be a problem because I actually hit healed there. Well, I didn't know I saved it without healing. Apparently I was a dumbass in the last stream. All right. Who are we I aming? Uh, that'd be fine. Eruption! Oh, apparently they are not Van Halen fans. Well, Wayne, it is on Steam, and it's only $5, so go check it out. Hitomi is Razzlin. Uh, her actual name is Hitomi. She actually now works for Kasara Studios, and we're going to be publishing her game. So, oh, wait, wait, I gotta go to the Citadel first. She was in the last stream. Stupid slime! I hate it so much. Yeah, tell Luke to get in here. Just, uh, uh, guys, could you not be dicks to him? I, I know he's a little weird, but don't be dicks to him. I feel like I should have better stuff than Electric Hell at this point in the game. Yeah, she's a, she's a designer. She's working on her own game called uh, Tears of Eternity. Silent Whispers. So, Hey, Desu! And we are going to be uh, publishing it sometime in the future. So, and She's also going to help us with getting the games translated to Japanese, so that's cool too. Oh, it's been a while since I've been here. Right, let me go to let me go to the dungeon. I, I, you know what? Let me let me have the like meeting first. Emperor, Commander Krista, Camara Dasan, welcome back. You've been expected. Like all the leaders of the free and not so free world are here. I see everyone is here. Emperor, it's good to see you again. Hello, my love. Oh, it's good that you're here. We have a lot to talk about, Father. Finally, you're here, Father. Been a while, Lee. Glad you could make it to the party. And for Lee, we have much to discuss. Oh, shut up, Lucy. Nobody likes you. Uncle, it's pleasing to lay eyes upon you once more. Who's laying eyes? Hey, Weeble Fool. We Weeble Fool. Am I saying that right? Oh, hold on. I think Tommy answered me. Oh, no, that's that's a, uh, a serpent. What? He said, was it cancelled, was it? No, get in here. What the fuck? No one's from Tommy just yet. Who's texting me on Steam? Uh, that's, that's Andrew. Alright. He's doing his own stream today. I can't do the whole stream in the mage's voice. That would be annoying. Very cool, Wayne. Uh, episode 2 is also on Steam. Uh, it's a little more money, but it's on there. Uncle, let's please... Oh, I said that right. Mages, please join us for this discussion. Indeed, this concerns everyone here and beyond. Oh, Nari. So sad what happens to you in the second game. 
All right, let us begin. We all know the threat that Valdrace presents to us all. I'm sure that in the Rim Kingdoms as well, there's a similar conference going on. Heh, <laughs> Rim. The question is not simply, how do you want to go about this? Do we declare war? Oh, cool, Wayne. I hope you enjoy them. Feel free to, like, make videos or whatever. If I may be so bold, I think that declaring war against Valdrace will serve little to our purposes here. We have to come find out. Valdrace is only a puppet state. Ray people, Cosby boys. Why? Why do you gotta be weird, man? Why do you gotta be weird? Where is S Serpent? He, he just like, is it not canceled, is it? Just get your ass in here. You know, actually, um, I was thinking of streaming Civilization, Casey, but I was thinking of... I'm not gonna read everything here. I was actually thinking of streaming maybe some Beyond Earth. See how that works out. You can't find it. What do you mean, can't find it? Like, he doesn't know my Twitch URL or something. That's S Serpent. He's weird. Alright. Zero Skate? Hmm. Have to look into that. Cave in at Best Buy, that's funny. I mean, why would you want me to do this in a Bill Cosby? Then they will be hunting you relentlessly to gain possession of the diadem, you see. I mean, that's funny for about a minute, and then it's going to get old, so I'm not going to do that. Alright. So remember what point of the game I'm at here. Alright, so basically you're going to get a bunch of party members here. Why would you hear rumors of... God. The way you guys talk shit about this kid. I mean, damn. Shut up, Lucy. Nobody likes you. Games! Gameses! Casey, you should tell them about that email we got. The Games. Well, explain it to them. We actually get, uh, we're putting a, a, an enemy called Games in the next game, not the next Chronicles of Dark Lord game. Well, the uh, the the prequel, Shenandoah Zero Con. You you found it? Like really, as Serpent? What the fuck? How could you? You don't know my Twitch URL? Seriously? It, it's it's not like it was on like the announcement or on Facebook or on YouTube twice now. Actually, wait. Did I put it on the YouTube the second video. Turn to anime. Oh, let me put that in there. Sometimes I wonder about you, man. Alright, back to the chat room. Oh, that's the thing about you, Slayer. You would, you're the kind of guy that watches the Golden Globes. Oh, you were thinking livestream.com, like what Andrew does with movies? He's actually doing a movie tonight, but I'm, I'm not doing that because I'm doing this. Yeah, uh, yeah, we did get an email from like some German guy, and uh, I think his his email was like Nazis are awesome at yahoo.com or something. Hello, hello. All right, you need stuffs. First, let's change a party. Uh, all right, let's see. I want. I see. I see a car. This might be my pizza. Isis. I want Zeria. And Kadar for now. Gaines is... Uh, I think that's just a neighbor. I don't know. I can't... I... I'm hungry. That's Andrew's link on livestream.com. We can... What? What, are you gonna watch them both at the same time? Wait, I'm not going up there. What am I doing? Oh, I need to go... Treasure room and dungeon. Oh, God! God, Gaines! Go. I'll take that. Woo, powerful! Oh, I got a magic potion too. It's Isis. Power vial, we'll go to Zerio. What is she using for equipment? Power vial, let's see. Okay. Castlevania esque? Now we're talking. Slayer's gotta like recommend weird shit to me, like like where he plays like werewolves or whatever, and it's like some some party game. You you know what I'm talking about though. That that sounds good though. Castlevania esque. Bored. 
Ambrosia Phoenix Tales Plague thing. Oh, all right. Dord. I guess that was a neighbor. All right. I'm hungry. I'm waiting for my fucking pizza. Got yeah, pizza and wings coming at me. Meow, meow, meow. All right. Let me do this. Ah, uh, ba 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 ba. There's an ambrosia there. Chronicles of a Dark Door. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I got something on Skype coming. Hitomi, the Hitomi face. Oh, that's my pizza. Hold on, guys. Hey, I'm coming. One minute. Ah, I'm telling Hitomi I'm live now, but uh, I'm not. I'm walking over to the door for pizza guy. Wings smell like they're uh, spicier than the devil, man. Wow. Woo! Holy shit, those are for later. If I start fading out, because I'm planning on uh, making this a nice long one. That's what she said! Do I not, like, seriously have any clean plates right now? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ walked into a bar, handed the innkeeper three nails, said, Could you put me up for the night? Woo! Alright, give me a minute here to wash a dish. Oh, that water's actually cold. Why is it coming out cold? Stop being cold. Your mother. Your mother's cold. Such a cold woman! Alright. The pizza ness is about to happen. Apparently, Slayer Darth never heard of a white pizza. He thought it might be a pizza for Caucasians. Do a little schmutz on the bottom of the plate. I'm sure you guys find this so interesting. I made sure I had a plate ready. But... Little schmucks there. All right, here we go. <laughs> Holy fuck! Hey guys, I'm back. Oh, what's up? More entertaining than foreplay? I don't know, you haven't had foreplay then. Alright. So let's, uh. Let's take a bite of this pizza, huh? Rambo pizza. Rambo pizza, when you gotta kill all the motherfuckers in the room. Mmm. There's a cool dev story behind the final boss fight in Kotal Episode 2. Where have you heard that? Because I haven't heard that. What are you talking about? Is this something Casey told you? Uh, chicken and waffles on a pizza. I bet Hitomi would try that. I would try it. I ain't gonna lie. I would try that. I would try the hell out of that. Well, I can go in and talk to the fucking horse, right? Let's do that. That's about it, huh? 
And by the way, WWE anime fans, what Nintendo's actually doing is they're allowing you to partner with them and make money off of videos. You could partner directly with Nintendo. It's actually a really good thing. No, seriously, what did Casey tell you about the last boss? That he couldn't beat him? Because that's true. Yeah, I'm, I'm done talking about Earthbound, man. Plague. Pl Plague. Huh. Tony, what you do? Casey as a tester kind of failed at beating episode two. I will never live stream Earthbound unless I am so drunk that I can't think straight. And that would probably be entertaining for completely different reasons. What am I doing here? I didn't get anything from her. Alright. Guess what you'd rather watch? You'd probably watch me drunk. I do the whole fucking thing in the Randy Newman voice. Walking up the hill to the alien ship. Hey, Elven Gamer. I didn't actually see you come in there. <laughs> Damn! You see that? That went ham on uh, fucking mages there. They're like, fuck you, Dark Lord, we're slimes. <laughs> to be fair, who doesn't turn into Randy Newman when they're drunk? I mean, I'm pretty sure he's drunk, that's why he's like that. There's actually a story reason why the enemies in Kazarath became so strong as Serpent when you come back there. It's because the Abyss is uh, tainting them. Talk about it more in the beginning of episode 2. When we talk about the tainted Ganari, that's what the, that's you're seeing it begin here. Shoot people! Do not use toilets! To people! That's how I imagine that song is like. Oh, let me, let me actually do the teleport thing. City and Rose. What's there to expand upon? There's nothing to expand upon. I would imagine that not only does May just drink, but he drinks like a Klingon. He probably drinks like blood wine and prune juice. Would I ever stream a game with a second player? I don't know, maybe. I don't know if Magus would eat gah. I think he's more of a steak and potatoes kind of guy. Alright, Dorian Library. Well, let me grab Krista. Long time no see, Magus. That's because you only got one eye. Oh! Gah! It's not gawk, it's gah. I said I might do Beyond Earth.
Sorry, I'm eating here. I hope you guys can't hear me chewing, because that would be really obnoxious. What are you LPing right now, Casey? I think I'm gonna need her soon, but not right this second. I know I need Kadar. I know it's untranslated! Let me go to the other ones! Ah! Okay, so that's what you need to go, but let me... There's a pretty cool cutscene somewhere. I think it's over on the other side, actually. Oh, here it is, here it is. So, a lot of people don't know this, but if you read... If you activate this bookcase while you have either of the Christas in your group, you get this cutscene about um, when when Krista, the Krista that came from the other world came in and explains how they're parallel versions of the same person. But if you read this without having Krista's, either of the Krista's in your group, um, who, who is it, Manic Douche behind a camera? You see this and it explains where Majara came from. You're so sick of fucking Crash Bandicoot 2, but you're not sick of fucking Final Fantasy 7 after playing it four million times? See, Majara is actually Tanya. No, I'm joking. But Majara is actually, um, she's from a parallel world where Mages and Exodus had a daughter instead of a son, and they named her Majara, because Mages is a guy's name, I guess. So, she's Mages from a parallel world, and that's, that's why, you know, he just refers to her as his sister. For anybody who played Episode 2 but hasn't played Episode 1, or if you're like, uh, S-Serpent, who played a little bit of Episode 1 but didn't beat it and went right into Episode 2. Alright, I gotta try to leave. I always like to joke that Tanya is Majara, and I'm Magus. FF7! What's funny is nowhere in that video did uh, Jesse actually say FF7! But now he says it all the time. Robe guy. It's, it's Harbinger. Robe guy. Let's see him. Photographs. Man, you are messed up. Mega potion. Ba -ba -da -ba! We got these nasty green, ghastly lieutenants. I will infernal slush them to death. Starsky and Hutch for the Game Boy Advance. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh. Many times have I asked that question? It didn't suck, but I can't imagine just like playing it in the year 2015. What, Starsky and Hutch is your favorite video? Do I seriously not have Onslaught? Am I that under leveled? Wow. There we go. I've seen the movie. I've never actually seen the show. I also like the, the Ben Stiller flick. The Boulder Dash was pretty cool. Atari Computer, what do you got? One of those like Atari 8-bit series? You're saying cunt. I mean cut. Ugh. The Jesse drum. Oh yeah, that's one of my. Have you seen uh, the video where S Serpent couldn't stop laughing like a donkey at the Hel <laughs> Helen Keller uh, uh, jokes? Why? 
The movie was actually pretty good, dude. I mean, you gotta take it more as an action comedy than anything, but it was fun. I need more pizza. After this battle, I'm gonna get up and get, like, another two slices. I'm fucking hungry as hell. Yeah, he was la laughing like a donkey! Ultima. Nice, yeah. I think there's a there's an infernal scroll around here somewhere. Nah, I'll, I'll get that, then I'll get my pizza. More pizza. Oh, dark knowledge, here we go. Who are we gonna level up? It may just serious sapphire. Sapphire? I, oh, I serious. If you get Isis, you, you pretty much want to level her up because she actually levels slower than anyone else. All right, let me let me just pour myself some iced tea and get some some more uh, food, and then I should pretty much be uh, laughing like a Donkey Kong Country. Oh my God! By the way, look for uh, I hope you guys have been watching the Donkey Kong Country uh, Let's Play so far. There's two parts of it up so far, but later on in the uh, in the Donkey Kong Country series, you will have S Serpent. He does guest star. In the uh, the DKC LP, uh, I had him come on for uh, what was it, man? It was like maybe three or four parts of it. We recorded a whole bunch at once. And I know I had Tanya in Chronicles of a Dark Lord, but I forget if I've gotten to that part or not. I think that I'm almost up to that part, or I've already done it. I forget. Two or three episodes, yeah. It was fun. The first couple of Ultima games were good. I think the last good one was five, though. After that, I got kind of tired. Yes, Incont! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, he stabbed Cornbread! Hell no, dog! Resurrect it, huh? Alright, use this. You'd run away too if your name was. <laughs> Be my item monkey and use a mega potion. Find a fucking mega. No, not mega ether. Mega potion. EA didn't do so much to fuck up Ultima as Richard Garriott did to fuck up Ultima, which is kind of sad, but. Oh, get ninjas in here! Hey, what's up, what's up, dude? Um, my friend Joe the Cripple. Yes, I really do call him that. Oh shit! I gotta call him. Let me see if I can get a hold of Joe the Cripple and see if he can come into the stream. Let me, let me give him a call. Let's see. Let's see... Oh, there he is, Joe the Cripple. I'll tell him that, if he answers, I'll tell him that guy that wrote those lists is in here. Yeah, he really liked those lists, because it's so much like what he said. Except the part with Super Gimp, he said he is that guy. I got a lot of sex lists. A lot. So don't worry about that. I'm, I'm good on sex lists. Oh, shit! I would love to see Cripple Sex List. That would be great. We were supposed to record the sex special yesterday, but 
Tanya had internet problems and we weren't able to do it. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's that guy that's got no hands. He was born with no hands. But then he decided to become an artist. And a, 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 both a martial artist and a painting artist. So, he's that guy that it, you can't tell him he can't do shit. Because he's like, fuck you. Hey, Serpent, I'm going to pretend you didn't say that. You could send it to me through Facebook, too, as long as I get it. No, 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 no. It, it, it's not that he turned down a woman for liking Rush. It's that he turned down a woman for, um, for dissing Rush. He was playing Rush as they were getting into bed, and she said, Don't you have any good music? And he was like, Yeah, you gotta leave. I don't know where you're reading that, man. That ain't true. Despite what uh, the internet may have you believe, nothing's gonna change the size of your dong. Except for, like, genetics. He is a man of principle. It was more that she, like, insulted him, basically. She was, was rude, you know? Frick is what then? Um, he paints, um, weird dragons and like trees and shit. I, I, it's hard to describe. If you look at my video, Hunting the. And he paints self portraits too. If you look for my video, Hunting the Wild Cripple of Bayo, New Jersey, from a couple of years ago, I'm in his apartment and I did. I did film some of his paintings. I don't know what she would consider good music, but... It's like, even if you think Rush is lame, you don't, like, say that to somebody, like, when they put music, I'm like, oh, don't you have anything good? <laughs> yep, this putt again. Undead Cyrano. I could probably get away with doing this. It is exactly, you're right, it is subjective. So there you go. She hates bisexual men? Why? That's so strange. I don't actually like Porcupine Tree. I like the one album they had, um, in, okay. I liked In Absentia. That was a great album. That was the first thing I ever heard from them. And I'm like, man, these guys are good. I'm going to get more of them. And then I got uh, the next one, which was Dark Wing, I think. And it was, I, I mean, it was boring. It was kind of okay. Fear of a Blank Planet was okay, but none of them really grabbed me by the nuts the way that um, fucking uh, In Absentia did. And I've heard their older stuff, like the stuff from before In Absentia. And it is some seriously boring shit. But, you know, if you like Porcupine Tree, that's perfectly fine. I wouldn't be like, don't you have any good music? Uh. Wow, Manic, that's, uh, that's harsh, dude. That, I would do the same thing. I don't know, there's some people in San Francisco who might buy that, Casey. I got pizza too. Fruschetta? Fris I've never heard Fruschetta pizza.
Don't worry about your grammar being off. We got Slayer Darth in here, and his brain is a little off. Did you mean Bruschetta? Frozen pizza. Good lord. Well, I guess you gotta get calories somehow. Thank you, Kadar. I'll only keep it Kadar until I get a better character. Well, tonight. I'll be honest with you, I don't like the Mars Volta. One of the guys in... Oh, wait, not in the Mars Volta, that's Coheed and Cambria, never mind. That, that, that part of that, that story is irrelevant. If you want me to tell you the Coheed and Gambry story, I will, but... Crack, crack, fart. Oh, I gotta change the party. Um, I'm gonna take out Kadar for Krista, and Isis for Aubrey. Alright. Alright, I got pretty good equipment. And there's better stuff for Aubrey in the next place. Share this picture or a pig will smell your balls. What the fuck? Hey, let me ask you, Casey. Is that like... I've never had a pig smell my balls. Um, is that a bad thing? I mean, is that something to avoid? or Do people worry about that? They're like, oh no, a pig might smell my balls. Evergrey is good. Yeah, I like Evergrey. What sucks is I never got to see them live, though, because like... Uh... Fuck him. When James Labrie was touring in uh, Europe, he had Evergrey opening for him. And I was like, oh man, I hope he comes to uh, America to tour. Because uh, I want to see James Labrie live, and I want to see Evergrey live. And he did come, but he didn't have uh, Evergrey opening for him. Instead, uh, at, each, at each place, he had local bands. Which doesn't sound terrible, but it, it was. Uh, the local bands they got were like, uh, bottom of the nutsack barrel, really. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering, Casey, about, like, is a pig smelling your balls something that people actually worry about? Like, they're like, oh no, a pig might smell my balls, I can't have that, I'll get the gay. I don't actually know Dream Evil. Yeah, I saw that, uh, uh Slayer, that, that list was, uh, very inaccurate. Wildly inaccurate list. Interesting, though. I could smell those hot wings when I haven't even opened the package. I just got something to have later. Do pigs want to smell balls? That's what I wonder. Like, are they all like, yeah, balls? Gotta get some of those sweet, sweet man berries. <laughs> yeah. People watching this on YouTube are like, why is he talking about that? What is going on in the chat? That was actually the first, Carmadillo, first time I actually saw Dream Theater Live was for the Train of Thought tour. I've seen them a bunch of times since then, but yeah. I haven't seen them I haven't seen them yet with um, Mike Mangini, though, which I'd want to. Alright. I, I need to heal. I need Aubrey to do her thing. Thank you, low tier healer. Oh man, that's fun. It's spicy on the way out. What are you talking about? By the way, these teleporters, you notice there's teleporters all over the place? Not smart to get caught up in that. You don't need the teleporters. Dual horn thrust! Ooh, that's sexual. That 
is sexy. Very horny. Now that y'all know all about Casey's bathroom movements. Sorry, I put my plate away there. I'm actually not playing it for Steam, Casey. Because my save was from before Chronicles of Dark Lord was on Steam. Oh, right! I promised you guys that I would tell y'all what... Okay, this is the only teleporter you need, I think. Why I haven't done a stream in so long. Oh, that was wrong. Alright, there's only one teleporter you want to go in. That was it. So basically, I haven't done a stream since... God, what was it, October? It was like October or some shit, or November. It might have been November. I don't remember the exact last um, last time I did one, but it was a long time. And uh, what happened was, well, first, you know, it, it had been October, because November, it was just ridiculous. Um, I was Drea. First... I had to deal with the fact that we were releasing episode two. Episode two came out in November. I was just very, very busy getting everything ready for episode two, and then, um, and then we were got episode one on Steam, and then episode two was coming on Steam, and all then the holidays, you know, and dealing with family obligations and shit. And then I hurt my back. I hurt my back twice actually. Uh, and actually, that's a story that goes way back to when I was a kid, or, you know, when I was 17, I, you know, I was a kid. I, uh, I fucking hurt my back shovel in snow when I was, like, about 17 years old, and it's never been right since. And I never went to a doctor for it because I, I was 17, and you don't do that. You, you, you just, like, walk it off, you know, it's just stupid. You don't have health insurance. So anyway, um... Every couple of years, I throw out my bag really bad, and I'm, like, pretty much laid out for a day or two, and then it, uh, you know, it, it, it heals, and then I'm better for a while. But right at Christmas Eve, a little bit before Christmas Eve, I was actually, I was cooking, I was making candied bacon for Christmas for, for the family, and, uh, what happened was, uh, I was starting to ache because, uh, yell yeah, boo-hoo, right? Yeah. It's not like I broke my spine or anything. God. So, uh, right as I was sitting down to dinner at Christmas Eve, like, I had my plate full of food and, like, a glass of wine and family all around. I was about to sit down, and all of a sudden, my back started twinging out, and it was, it was, uh, it was pretty painful, I had to tell you. It was, like, uh, on paint scale, it was, like, a nine, you know? And I couldn't even sit in the chair, so I, uh, what I went and did was, um, um, laid on the floor, and then they gave me painkillers, and, uh, Kingdom Come, with the exosuit, yeah. And what happened was I, I eventually was able to get up and eat, but I was in pain for about a week after that. Still didn't go to the doctor, it was the worst back outbreak that I'd ever had. Still didn't go to the doctor, um, got better, you know, went back to work and everything, and then what happened was... I heard it again. I was cooking the bacon, and I was making so many batches. I was making, and I only made, you guys will like this, I made candied bacon, and I made barbecue bacon. And I, you gotta do it in the oven, because if you wanna eat good bacon, you gotta do it in the oven. Well, anyway, um, oh, I was babbling incoherently. It was, it was insane. I was, uh, I was high on painkillers, um, during, uh, January 2015 List Critics, actually. Although, uh, it wasn't too bad, but I, I was I was pretty fucked up. But anyway, uh, what happened was, it's like when I couldn't say the word, um, disambiguation, I was like, disambiguable. And Tanya was like, oh man, did you have like a, like a brain fart moment? I said, that's a flexural moment. But anyway, um... It, it, my back was starting to ache, and then, um, I, as you guys know, obviously I work at Kazara Studios, 
But I have another job where I, I work at a company. I'm not gonna say the name of the company, but I uh, I do uh, healthcare. I, I I care for people who have brain injuries. Um, and this is one guy we got, and he's a brain injured older fellow who he's laid up in bed. He can't really get out of bed. He he's uh, he's all fucked up. There's a most people who get uh, hey night commander. Wait a minute. Oh yeah yeah that's Zach. Okay hey what's up. Uh, most people with brain injuries got it from uh, car accidents, and like so they're also they're also crippled, you know. And he's got a, a a shit bag, you know. He's got like a colostomy. It's actually called an ileostomy bag, which is higher up in your in your tract than a uh, than a colostomy bag because he doesn't have a colon at all. But anyway, uh, he he accidentally like ripped his bag off, and I had to like clean him up and change the bed and everything. And all the, like, stooping and everything, my back was already, I, I threw it all out of whack. And, uh, that's on my bucket list, WWE anime fans, see, uh, Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah, he's got a stomach, exactly. So anyway, uh, I hurt myself real bad, did not realize how bad it was until I got home and tried to get into bed, and I was in a just intense amount of pain. Called out to work the next day, which I just really never do, but I did. And, uh... It just sat here all night, just in pain, and then, um, I, I was like, I can't live like this, you know? I can't live in this kind of pain. So what I did was I went to the urgent care in the morning, which is, like, not quite an emergency room. It's for when you need care immediately, but it's not life-threatening. And I went there, and I actually had to use my health insurance for the first time ever. And, uh, yeah, they, they told me that it was basically like a pulled muscle, and then it was all tightened up, and, uh, this attack. They gave me some pills. I actually still have some of the pills, because, uh, here what I have here. This is the, the painkiller, 500 milligram naproxen, which is basically prescription strength of leave. Now, that doesn't do anything other than help you out with the pain. And, uh, this here, which I hope to never take again, is uh, 10 milligrams uh, cyclobenzaprine, also known as Flexeril, which is the muscle relaxant, which will also get you high as fuck. I do not enjoy it. It was not fun. Um, I got all sorts of nasty ass um, side effects. I could not think straight. It sucked. It, it sucked Italy out. So, uh... And I had to take them for like quite a while before I felt better. And I'm not taking them anymore, but uh, yeah. You'd buy those, but you don't want them. Trust me, man. You don't want them. I was drugged the fuck out, but not in that fun way, you know? It wasn't like marijuana where you're, you're just like kind of giggly and mellow and kind of hanging out and, you know, feeling good. It was like... I can't think straight, I can't form a sentence right, I can't, I would like talk, I'd say something to somebody, and in the middle of the sentence I would forget what I was saying. Like if you've ever completely forgotten what you were saying, because somebody else was talking, and then you're like, oh I forgot what I was going to say. How about like, while you're talking, you forget what you were saying. That's how bad it was. Hated it. Hated it. So. All those reasons are why I didn't do a uh, finally on slot, a live stream in a really long time. Holy Radiance! Buenos ding dong diddly deal, senor! So now, um, we get. Keep Earthbound away pills. Oh, man. That is definitely the worst experience I've had with drugs. But I don't do a whole lot of drugs. Like, I've taken Percocet for pain in the past, and that wasn't so bad. That, was, that wasn't so bad at all. Um, I've never had a bad experience drinking. I've never had a bad experience with marijuana, probably because I've only smoked marijuana, like, maybe six times in my whole life. Yeah, spam folder, yeah, there's some weird shit in there. Uh, let me change the party now. Let's see. Okay, well, take Krista out and put in Drea. Take Aubrey out. Put in Isis. Alright, we're gonna heal up and save. 
Charmed, uh, googly doogly. You punched out a TV. What did the TV do to you? Was it playing Family Guy or something? Ninjas! I think these guys crippled Gip Ninja. Either that or he slipped in the shower. I don't know. Damn straight fuck Family Guy. I can't, I can't even have that show on anymore. It pisses me off. Last time I watched Family Guy was... I watched the, uh... Family Guy Simpsons crossover, which was terrible, by the way. It's really bad. Insane in the Wayne brain. Just getting get some food. Ah, she's already, like, undead, so fuck you. Stargate, wow, that's taking me back. What did you, what did the TV do to you? It was playing Family Guy and you were like, FUCK THIS SHOW! <laughs> yes, the crossover was written by a Family Guy writer, which is why it was really bad. The animation was decent, I like that. The story was, I uh, just, you know, there, there were elements of it that were good, but it really needed to be, like, a two-part episode, with, like, half of it being on Family Guy and half of it being on The Simpsons. That way you get both perspectives. And if you had to see that, I don't even know if the... The uh, Simpsons Futurama crossover has even happened yet, I was hearing about it, but uh, that's something I want to watch. You feel your dogs? Damn. Here's Morgan, man. Fuck that guy anyway. You know who's worse than him is that, uh, what's his face, uh, Russell Brand. I hate that motherfucker with the burning passion of a million dying souls. Fuck that cunt. Yeah, and they are so... That's why they took so many shots at Bob's Burgers, because they're just so jelly. Mad, stupid jelly, dude. Electric Hell! Electric Hell is totally, like, secretly a Judas Priest song. That there should be a Judas Priest song called Electric Hell. When I saw that, I told Tanya that, like, this is ages ago. I was like, oh my god, you know what? There's a Judas Priest song called Electric Eye. We totally, totally, oh, can't talk. We totally had to have in episode two an attack called Electric Eye. And there is an enemy that attacks you with the uh, Electric Eye in, in Lord of this. Have I been gone for almost an hour? Oh god, wow, it feels like I've been going for like maybe ten minutes. Fuck Alex Jones anyway! Alex Jones is like, um, he's like Riley Martin, except more well-spoken, but basically that's, that's what he is, he's a bullshit artist. How can he be anti-government when he's the most liberal mother- okay, I didn't even get into public politics, but he's the most liberal motherfucker I've ever seen in my life, and he's like anti-government when, you know, I don't, I don't like it for him. Galena's secretly a Dragon Force fan. SECRETLY?! Ain't no secret about it, son! I don't care for Dragon Force after the singer left, when they got a new guy. I mean, I know he sounds exactly the same, but... No, oh, songs ain't the same, is it? The old singer must have been writing, you know, because it ain't the same. My thoughts on Anita Sarkeesian, I can sum that up in one word. No. I'm just gonna say, no. Now see, don't, don't, don't refer to her as a bitch, because that, that just fuels her bullshit. That just makes, oh see, I, you know, they were, I was right, oh, game is misogynist, oh jeez. 
See, I don't know why she sounds like Woody Allen in my mind, but... Don't, don't fuel her bullshit. Just, don't give her the attention. She's, she should be irrelevant by now. Don't fuel it. Don't feed her hatred, because she eats hatred. And it's like biofuel. She eats hatred and poops lies. So don't even, don't even get into it, man. I'm telling you. All right. I'm actually gonna get these questions wrong on purpose so that I could fight the bosses and get like items and experience and shit. It's actually uh, a, a slain star shade, but I'm gonna get it wrong. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to talk about anything related to either feminism or gamer game. I just want to play games and have fun, because that's what it's all about. And Slayer's going to do this thing where I've said that I don't want to talk about it, and he's going to like continue to talk about it, because that's, that's what he does. It's a good sprite, yeah. The Moirana sprite is very, uh, very dynamic. Plus, if you're a butt man, she's rocking those like bell bottoms there. Steal your magic points. Aquify. She's not trying to vegetate me, right? And by the way, as as a game developer who is who is who is making games that have mostly female cast, I said, you know, not not all games are uh, anti-woman. I never understood how water can make things dry. Simpsons South Park, they almost kind of did that where they had Bart on on South Park, but it was really just like, it wasn't like officially sanctioned by the Simpsons. Even though they said they did, they did dig it. They, they liked it. But, uh, yeah. SpongeBob, don't, don't get weird about it, man. SpongeBob, really? And then, and then Bolt is gonna come and like jerk off on everybody. Come on, let's not do that. South Park PewDiePie. I thought that PewDiePie thing was gonna be like really, really irritating. But really, you know, they, they, they were kind of making fun of him because like what's the worst thing that they could do to PewDiePie was make Cartman a fan. Why would I be disappointed that Spectre is not using the plot for Devil May Care when Devil May Care had nothing to do with Spectre, really? Like, why? What? There we go. I'm gonna do it again. I don't even know who Jackoff is. Or is it Yakoff? Yakov Smirnov? In Soviet Russia! Joke kills you! Or something, I don't know. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, man. I'm talking about Slayer Dart, I have no idea what you're talking about. They don't have the rights to any of the Bond stories written by anybody but Ian Fleming. Because Ian Fleming sold it for a pretty low amount. But now that the other Bond authors, like like Gardner, who wrote more... Hey, a Wario Barker, thank you for following me. Um, they know what it's worth, so they're not willing to uh, sell it for less than like a ridiculous amount of money. So that's why you haven't seen any of the Gardner novels or any of the other or Benson novels. <laughs> Soviet Russia! Motherfucking snakes of hobbies with you! Oh shit, I'm not paying attention. What do I care what he thinks, Slayer? What do I care? Cook 
Bane's hologram. I love when they tease you with the whole shotgun thing, but then he, he I forgot what he did with it, but he didn't, he didn't shoot himself. Yeah, Kingsley Amos, he wrote that as like Robert Markham or something. And of course there's Sebastian Fox, and there's a new guy writing the novels now, so... You know. And yeah, Skyfall was fucking great, it really was. It was the best one in a long time, I think. Oh, I thought that was Dre. Fuck. Slayer's gonna be a fucking buzzkill right now and talk about, oh, you had flaws. Like, yeah. God, why can't people just enjoy the movie? Well, the next Bond movie's coming out, I think. I mean, next year. Uh, it's, it's called Spectre. They're filming it. You know what they're filming? They're filming next Rocky right now. Well, it's called Creed, but yeah. Creed in three! Creed in three! Look at nothing, I'll drop this chump! I only have one of those, huh? One of those, Furious George takes over Uranus, I like that. First of all, I just love the name Furious George, it's great. Drea, why you miss? Rocky 7, Adrian's Revenge! That's it's called Creed. It's about um Apollo Creed's grandson is is a boxer and Rocky's training him, I guess. So Rocky's now the trainer, and he's training Creed's grandson, uh, Adonis Creed. We all get to hear Slayer Guard's fucking in-depth analysis of a movie we've all seen. No, it's not. It's not his. It's not his kid. It's his grandson. I serve Adonis Creed. Oh yeah. Thank you, Drea. Felicia Felicia Rashad's in it. But I just want to point that out. Yeah, Rambo: Last Blood. Um, I hope Stallone's directing that because the last Rambo was fucking. Ace. That was great. It's so made up for uh, Rambo 3. Hey, is it? No. <laughs> Curious George learns about gun safety. Oh boy. Uh, I got negated already, huh? Yeah, you know what? I don't even know what the hell they're talking about, Casey. Electric Oh, uh, Zero doesn't have a whole lot of hit points here. Death. Oh, death missed. That dirty fucker. I need to use a fucking villain root. I only have one, too, wow. Yeah, Rambo, Rambo 4, I call it Rambo 4, I, I, whatever, you know, John Rambo, Rambo, Rambo 4, whatever you want to call it. Uh, fucking cool movie. Furious George meets Anthocalius. I can get behind that. I can get behind that. I was just talking about Rambo's knife and my friend Joe to the cripple and... He was like saying, oh, I have that knife. And I was like, you got the Rambo knife? And he's like, yeah, he's the one from, from Rambo 4. And I was like, oh, I mean, that was cool, but you got to get the, uh, she got negated again. Oh, man, you know, and that, you know what they did as Serpent in that movie? Was, um, they, they showed what would happen, you know, if a person got shot by a, by a 50 cal, I mean. That that was realistic. That, all the violence in that was very realistic. Mm. 
no equipment. Well, the Waglin monster, you're not really using much equipment there. You're, uh, a Waglin monster, you gotta use fire skills anyway, so... Oh, I didn't heal up before. This is gonna be bad. Alright. Well, maybe if you paid attention to streams in the past, you would have known what the hell he's talking about, because it's from Chronicles of Dark Lord. No. Like, ain't nobody got time for that. I gotta talk about Jeans Bond clones. <laughs> Evade! Uh, you know, that's why I attack twice, motherfucker. Dre is the one attacking without using magic, really. That was fucking me, goddammit! Bullshit! We all know it was. He's like, you want to hear my plot for a James Bond movie? And I'm like, no. And he just went on and on and on, even though he said no. And I glanced at it. it was Oh, good, Kuri Lenko. Yeah, she was hot. Still is. It's not like she wasn't hot anymore, but... She's sexy. Sexy woman. Somebody else said it. Yeah, who was it? You, you, you can't seem to ever, like, say who the other uh, man on the grassy knoll was. Y'all racist. <laughs> Alright, uh, that's the first funny thing you've ever said. Appreciate that. We know it's lame. You're just trying to like disown it because you know it's lame. So he needs a map. Oh, give me a genie to shove these streams more often. I need to do these streams more often. Warm beer? What is this, the UK? Warm? No, no, cold beer. Thanks for the update, I guess. Manic Scarecrow. The whole fucking house smells like hot wings right now. What the fuck, bro? We know it was, though! We were all there. I've been taking the very lackadaisical approach to these boss battles. I know he's in the UK, that doesn't excuse him! Focus on the game, how about you focus on the game? You are always talking about irrelevant shit. You're the one always like, I'm trying to talk about the game, and you're like, so what's your thought on, like, uh, like, like James Bond's, uh, taint? And I'm just like, what the fuck are you even on, bro? I can't use Tornado Fury on her, that would heal her. Next Friday, probably not. We're probably having a movie night. But you're invited if you want to. I, I figure out what movie, though. Might be Drive, I don't know. Yeah, but that doesn't excuse it. Like, warm beer is inexcusable. Even if you are in the UK, it's 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 not. Oh, she's immune to magic drain. I've just been like, haha. <laughs> well, you see, uh, nobody's taint is as good as the corner. <laughs> I would imagine that that is like the hairiest motherfucking thing ever. Well, damn, Game Ninja! Next time, just blow the guy. Don't make it a big deal. <laughs> oh, is he potion? All right, hold on. I got. I got to do a little uh, management here. Crazy intellect like, boosts that I got. Isis. All right. I had the opportunity to buy items when I was in Tesseroth, but instead I was eating pizza. More beer. Right. Not at the current then. Counter to Zardoz, so he wins. No, it's it, it's not who's the bigger taint. It's <laughs> it, it's who has the more attractive taint. 
which is really gross. Zardoz. Did anybody actually see Zardoz? Like, is that something that happened? Did people, like, go to see that? I would imagine not. Desu, the reason that the mic is better, it's the same mic, uh, the, I realized the volume was too high, and I lowered it. I went over to my mixing board, I've been having a little issues with the mixing board, but I went over to the mixing board and I was like, man, why is the volume all jacked up? I lowered it to about half, and that's why it sounds like way better now. Uber McPhail Soldier. Let's just blame the guy that's not here, I see. Taint is still Jackie Martling's favorite word. Well, fuck him anyway. Sorry I'm doing all this, like, I, these are optional, but I, I need the levels, man. I never beat this game like this. By the way, guys, when I play uh, Binding of Isaac Rebirth, which is coming up next, I just want to let you guys know, um, I have to set up the game. I, I actually bought the game on Steam. I bought Binding of Isaac Rebirth on Steam, like, like honestly, like yesterday. And I installed it, but I haven't played it yet. Now, I have played the game. It's not like I've never played The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I have it for PlayStation Vita. But um, I'm going to be playing it from the very beginning as like a new thing, so... It might take me a few minutes between, you know, this and that to set up. Just let you know. Yeah, thank you, Wrestling is Real. We had a, a lot of really, really great, talented composers on the team making the music. Uh, just wait until you hear the music in Episode 2 and uh, and future games. We, we could just have an amazing team. We got. Um, oh, by the way, I'd like to make an, a, a, a really cool announcement. Um, Y'all heard of the game Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, right? Y you know Mystic Quest? Binding of Isaac Rebirth was my uh, second favorite game of last year, Zach. Okay, you might know that Square, Square Enix just announced this. I've known about it for a long time, but Square Enix just announced this a little while ago. There is a remake from the ground up remake of, of Final Fantasy Mystic Quest coming to um, Steam, which is coming in, I believe, March. And it's called Mystic Quest HD. And um, you all know, like, Mystic Quest, uh, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest was on the Super Nintendo. It was not really that great of a game. It wasn't bad, but it was an attempt to do, like, a... Uh, uh, oh, okay, so Game Ninja just played through it. Cool. It was an attempt to do, like, a like an entry-level RPG. It was kind of a misfire, but uh, it wasn't bad. Um, but there's this company... Uh, Dark Designs, run by this guy Jake, uh, and he's from the UK. He has created a complete remake. He was originally calling it Mystic Quest Remastered, but uh, it got picked up by Square Enix. Um, it, it is good, by the way. It is good, Maddox Gear. And uh, the graphics are really sharp. There's a lot of extra stuff. The gameplay is overhauled, you know. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, they used—they actually advertised the price. Remember in comic books, you see thirty-nine ninety-nine adventure, you know. But anyway, um, the reason I'm bringing it up is because the guy who made Mystic Quest HD, which is coming out in March, published by Square Enix, but I want to let you guys know the guy who made Mystic Quest HD now works for Kazara Studios. So, big awesome announcement! And I'll tell you what he's doing right now. Actually, he is um, working on the Android port of this game right here that you're watching. So this game is going to be on Android devices actually really soon because he's just blazing through the port. So that's that's a cool announcement I want to tell you all. Yes. I love that skull. I drew that by the way. And I'm like jerking myself off by saying that, but I just want to say that I love that skull. Shock crashed? I think you mean Shockwave Flash or something. So yeah, uh... 
Did everyone involved with Kotal Episode 1 move over to work on Episode 2? Okay, um... I'll be honest with you here. Which is to be just brutally honest. Episode 1 was mostly just me and Tanya. To be honest with you. Like, there are other people that worked on it, but the vast majority of it was me and Tanya. So, Episode 2, we had, like, almost 30 people working on it. It's a much bigger game, but the first game... Not so much. So, yeah. Me and Tanya are still there. By the way, in, uh... In the UK, uh, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest is called Mystic Quest Legend. I want to point that out. Precipice of Forever? Is that what you're calling it, or is that what Tanya called it? It's actually called the, the Heart of the Abyss. Still working for the Empire of Evil, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. I love the little dog faces you make, this suit. I just get such a dog person. The liver of the abyss is <laughs> What the fuck, man? I have no idea what y'all talking about at this point. Y'all just tripping, man. Just tripping. The area is called Precipice of Heria, but that's like more referencing like the, the cliff, you know precipice is a cliff and and it's like the edge of you know but but the uh the galaxy thing that that swirly green thing that i drew and that was actually um it's 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 the heart of the abyss is what it's called nobody's drunk oh one of these things is not like the other fucking ghastly lieutenant out of nowhere are you? Well, she, you know, she's at my parents' house, but she's doing good. I haven't seen her in a while. The last time I went over there, she's still Arya. It's like the ah, oh, bad form, bad form. Bad form. This ain't, this ain't going well. All right. This is going really badly, I just want to point that out. Don't be blowing, Drea! Well, um, you know, not to bitch talk anybody, Casey, but uh, Jake told me that um, Square Enix were like a nightmare to work with. Larry the dog, huh? Missing cunt. I think I'm gonna use an ultra elixir just to get myself like unfucked here. I haven't used any yet, so let's do it. Bob the Bobcat, huh? Totally original character, you guys. It's like the Fighting American. Rage in America. A cat named Asshole. Well, cats, cats kind of are assholes. So. Your dog dude named Misty Carey. What? Oh god. I, I, I hope you didn't give him those names, because goddamn, son. First time you said that, I open gave her. Oh! Well, pretty much nobody from Square or Enix in the 90s works for Square Enix now. There you go. Sad but true, you know. Bubsy, oh boy. 
That motherfucker. Bug the bug out of you when you're fighting the forces of bad. I am the forces of bad, they're the forces of worse. Your sister did name you. Wow, you are drunk. Shitmaster! Wow. That escalated quickly. Alright, let's, uh. Do the healing thing here real quick. Andrea. Alright. I shouldn't. It's great calamity, but I'm gonna get the wrong on purpose, obviously. You were gone? <laughs> I'm kidding. Welcome back, a serpent. Oh! Damn, Drea! You see that? Ooh! That's fucking stacks of blue blue right there. Scrotic should make a new rad racer. Wow. That's... Yeah. yeah, I should remake the game that nearly bankrupted them. <laughs> okay, go fuck yourself higher. Alright, uh... Used to piss you off. Wow, dude. See, see, it's comments like that, Slayer, that make people think you're a total stalker. Y'all want to play Chrono Trigger 3? Go play um, Final Fantasy 13 2. Honestly, Final Fantasy 13 2 was so Chrono Trigger, it was more Chrono Trigger than Chrono Trigger was. It's just like being really honest. It's obvious that they were working on a third game, it's called Chrono Break, and um, it never got made. It got cancelled before they even really started development, and uh, I believe that from playing Final Fantasy XIII 2, that a lot of the ideas that were going to be in the third Chrono game wound up in that game. The fact that he knows my sister's name and, and, and last name, like first and last name, and, and just like brings it out of nowhere, like it's, it's creepy, man. It, it is, it, it, yeah. Thank you, Casey. I didn't say you are a stalker, I said people say you are, okay? And I'm not even lying on that. Yeah, the Julie thing was a little weird. Luckily, I think he left before she came here. So it wasn't too bad. Because Julie did show up in the street. Where is Hitomi? Is Hitomi, are you in here? Is there any way to actually see people that are in here? Let me, let me, I am and ask her if she's in there. Oh! Man, that is a, a lot of go fuck you. Never played Ace Attorney. You really no desire to. To be honest with you, I just be brutally honest. <laughs> Not interested. Julie and Hitomi showed up and were like flirting with each other. It was epically amazing. Damn it, me just. Dre probably would have ended it right there. Yeah, I know you watched. It. That's like that was like. Honestly, that was like five years ago. And you're... Oh my God, really, really? And I haven't saved. All right, well. If this fucking finishes Neopyre off, then, oh yeah, Zeria, you're top tier for a reason. If it doesn't, then I'll be playing Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Alright, it, it got her. Let me see. Oh, 
Oh, okay, I can see the... I oh, see he was lurking. Nobody's lurking. Alright, Hitomi's not here. Why are we back on Earthbound? Why, why are we talking about that now? Alright, well, that kind of blew. You know what? I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna stop here and... Anyway, let me let me get myself all healed up though, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here, uh, and I'm gonna play Binding of Isaac River. They're fine, dude. They're fine. And the bunny videos I haven't been over there really since then. The bunny videos were, were really fun to do though. Thank you for that information. That you're 21. Congratulations, I guess. All right, guys. I'm gonna stop. Crowd Rose Dark Lord right here, and I will see you guys in a few minutes. I gotta. I, I gotta. Uh, a turd doesn't taste better over time. That's true. If you bury a turd and you dig it up 20 years later, it's still it's still a fucking turd. It's not gonna turn into lutefisk. Um. Hey, ga hey, bunny. What games totally sucks? Oh, uh, oh man. Oh, you you know, man. It it fucking you know Earthbound. You know, it, it, it's called Mother. Mother 2 should be called Motherfucker, man. Oh, oh, tell me, man. If people are like, oh, you know, it's like a total masterpiece. It's not a masterpiece, man. It just fucking blows, man. Bunny video. I did want to do Bunny Runs for President, but I haven't been over my uh, their house that often. Alright. I'll see you guys real soon. Just gonna take a few minutes here to set up Binding of Isaac Rebirth, because I'm gonna play that.